everyone. Now we're on part three of the eye doctors. Oh my goodness. I hope this doesn't bore you. But if, if you're commenting, can you tell me, would you rather have one long video where I put all this part one, two, and three together? Or would you rather have it in three parts? Because it was already getting long. I personally, I don't mind. I love watching videos. Even if people are just talking longer ones rather than part one, part two, part three. I, I know like big YouTubers do that so they can make more money. I mean, I don't make money because for whatever reason, I can't get a thousand subscribers. I get to this one point and then it goes down a little and I just never move up. But anyhow, if you can comment, would you rather have watched this? So this would be probably a 45 minute video or so, or would you rather have it in three parts? Hopefully somebody answered, so it gives me an idea what, what y'all want. Um, so anyhow, I was talking about the eye doctor and about Polly. So at the point I left off, miraculously I remembered was Polly had a very mean lady. I mean, she was very, very mean. She raised her voice at us. I don't know what her problem was. And this guy that I had, when I went, it was the end of the day, I even went up, I said, are you still open? He said, oh, yeah, sure, very nice, very nice person. So anyhow, she was very mean, and she went in the back with his glasses, and she comes back, she says, uh, you didn't get these here. I said, well, yeah, because this is his eye doctor, we don't go anywhere else. Nope, nope, you didn't get them here. Real loud. Lo I can't even talk as loud as she was screaming. I said... I wanted to say, can you calm down a minute, but I didn't. I said, this is the only place we go to the eye doctor, and this is where we get his glasses. So then, after she's done yelling and screaming, like I said, that's why Polly didn't understand, because it took me a minute to understand her, because when people yell, I kind of block them out, because I wouldn't yell at someone, and I don't expect to be yelled at. Especially, that's a bad example in front of my child. To do over again, I would have said some things to her, like, can you tone it down? My son is here, and, you know, he's learning about life, and I don't want him to think that he can't go someday when he's an adult to a place to get glasses without being screamed at, but, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. So anyhow, she said, these are reading glasses. I'm like, they can't be. So what happened was... <laughs> Apparently, so, you know, you know, the monster there, when he used to come around, he orders his reading glasses from somewhere that they cost over $200. So they looked like Polly's glasses. So he, he would sit in my chair that he broke, we're talking about the monster now, and he would always lose them and keep ordering, you know, he won't buy his kid any food or any things that a teenager should have, like, you know, a computer, uh, a uh, play, you know, one of those electrical play, you know, PSs or I don't know, whatever they're called. Or even a uh, i iPad, whatever, you know, nothing. But he'll buy himself expensive glasses, and then he'd always, like you say, when he came here, he would come here, and he'd be fall asleep, so he didn't spend time, and the glasses would be in his hand, and he'd drop them, and would fall under this thing I have in my mom's. It's an old time record player. And then he'd blame me of taking them. Because one day when I was cleaning there, I found like 30 pairs. But anyhow, somehow, his reading glasses must have been, I don't know, that awful day in July when he went crazy. I'm talking about the monster. Somehow, because things were flying in the air by him, not me. And somehow they must have landed by his Polly's glasses and I picked them up by mistake. So now I'm thinking, they, because when you go in, they take a reading, they take your glasses and get a reading off the strength. So they... They thought his glasses, which were his father's reading glasses, so actually when I went to my appointment, I let him know to tell the doctor. So anyhow, what happened at the end, so, she, so I said, I said, we must have lost his glasses because his glasses are in one place and there was only one pair of glasses, the one that went flying through there that were his father's reading glasses. So either he picked them up and, you know, threw them away because that's what he would do or he just picked him up to be mean. So then she says, wait a minute. So she calmed herself down. I don't know if she popped some pills to calm down or what she did, but she said his insurance does cover lost glasses, so thank God. And they are lost because when we came home, they're not where they always are. 
lost, taken, I don't know, whatever the monster did with them. So then we went home, and I guess because, you know, it was so unpleasant. So now fast forward to my appointment that I was talking about in part one and two. So then Polly said, oh, it's probably going to take him a long time to pick a pair of glasses, you know, ones that he likes. Well, what they did is they ordered, the way the insurance covers it is they ordered the exact same pair of glasses. I guess unless they don't have them, but they had them. And my heart sunk. I'm telling you, I just... I'm trying not to cry. I just, you know, I would just... If it wasn't for... I had those detached retinas, in, which weakens my eyes, and having the cataracts, I would have just said, forget my glasses and let him pick out glasses because it broke my heart that he thought he was going to come back and get new glasses because his sister, she just gets them. His father buys her whatever she wants. She just likes to have glasses for every day of the week, every day of the month. And poor Polly has to have the same glasses. And I just, I so wanted to. To say, just forget my glasses, but I, I knew I couldn't risk losing my vision. I felt so, so bad. And it just, I, oh my gosh, it just broke my heart that he thought, and then he's always oh, okay. He always says, that. no, it's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. The sister gets everything, a new phone, probably every month. Who knows? And he gets nothing. He doesn't have a phone anymore either. It broke. And his father won't have it fixed, so he has no phone. And it just, oh my God, it just broke my heart that he thought he was going to be able to pick out glasses. I mean, that's, that's something, again, he's a teenager. He should be able to pick out a pair of glasses. Anyhow, I don't know where I was going to go with then this part three story. So after that, everything just went downhill. Like I say, if it wasn't for having cataracts and telling me I'm at higher risk of other things because of the retina, and she says, if anything, anything, I even see those floaters or whatever spots right away to call them because it's very important because you can go blind. <sighs> I don't know, there was something else I was going to tell, but now I just upset myself feeling so inadequate because, you know, because that monster, the controller, the abuser, is hurting his child. Well, he knows it hurts me, obviously, right here. I'm very hurt, and he knows he hurts me. But he's really hurting his own child, which he doesn't care about. I just can't get over You know, if I had something I could sell left, I would sell it so he could pick out glasses. Because, like I said, now when I think about back in hindsight when she was here, you know, living here, where she moved in with her boyfriend, he spoiled her too. That was his favorite. You're not supposed to have favorites. And Polly, who's been, th been through so much, still goes through so much with his health. Now even having that heart problem, you, you know, you think his father would do something nice for him? No, nothing. But it just, it just crushes me that he thought he could get a new pair of glasses. I can't get over I can't get over, you know, I really, the whole way home I was thinking about it. And I thought I should go back and I should just cancel. But I thought I can't, I can't mess with my eyes. I just can't. I even told him when I had ordered the glasses and I had to pay all that money. I said, I feel so guilty. He says, you shouldn't feel guilty for, for taking care of your health. Which he was right. But like I say, then when Polly said it with a big smile on his face, you know the Polly smile. He says, oh, it's going to take me a long time till I find a nice pair. Oh, my heart just dropped. It dropped. But I know there's probably more to my story, but right now I just felt like someone punched me in the stomach telling you the story. I wanted to tell you the story, to finish the story, but I didn't realize it would affect me this bad. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to. It just bothers me that, like I say, you know, he should be having teenage snacks. He should be, you know, 
you're only a teenager so long and he doesn't get to have all the normal things because his father's acting like a teenager like i said when he used to come here he would bring in snacks that we'd watch him eat and drinks he'd buy these big things of snapple drink from the whole bottle just take a couple sips and then leave all his trash here Ah, oh, I can't remember the rest of the story, what happened at the eye doctor. But anyhow, so his same glasses will be coming in. You know, when kids go to the eye doctor, they look forward to getting glasses. Yes, we can't help the insurance he has, but she has the same insurance, and she gets to always get glasses. She never has to pick off the cheap rack, but he always had to because of his father, never her. She threw a little hissy fit, and she got what she wanted, and she continues to get it. She's an adult. She has a job, and that's wrong. I don't, I'm sorry. My brain just washed out, gone. I just made myself sick to my stomach. So anyhow, tell me if you're bothered by eyeballs. You have, like, a thing with a body part. A lot of people do. They have, like, I can't remember right now because I just feel so bad about Polly, but, um, People have like a, well, maybe not all people do, but I've heard like other people have a thing with like their neck. Me too. I don't like if anything, like I don't like turtlenecks. I don't like anything around my neck, but um, I just, eyeballs just gross me out. Maybe if I didn't go to college to be a nurse, I wouldn't be bothered by eyeballs because in general, eyeballs don't bother me. But when I saw them, which will be a whole nother story, oh, a lot of funny nursing school stories. But anyhow, sorry to end this on a bad note. I didn't know it was going to turn out that way. It would bother me so much. I mean, it bothered me, but it still bothers me. But anyhow, that was the three parts of the eye doctor. So let me know, would you rather listen to a long vlog or is three parts? Would you, which one would you rather have? So hopefully someone tells me so because I want to give you what you want. You know, I want to make you guys happy because it's my job in life. Make everyone happy. Makes me happy. So for now, don't forget to subscribe, like, if you could just press the like button, just say hi. It does, and it does help the algorithm, and we are trying to grow our channel, because, you know, if I grew my channel, maybe I could buy him that pair of glasses. Boy, would that make my heart very happy, because if I was making even a little money, any little bit would help, because obviously I can't work, because now I have that, that kind of heart thing going on, and I don't know why this has to be. Probably it's for my court and nutrition. I don't know. I'm just going way deep into this. But anyhow, if you can share my channel. But like I say, if you just press the like and just say hi, something on there. It does something to the algorithm, which put my video out more to more people to see. And then they'll subscribe. And then I can monetize. And then maybe Polly could get his glasses. God, it just breaks my heart, you know? Kid doesn't get to have chips or soda or anything that kids his age should have. And now, God, this glass thing is just going to really bother me. I just feel really guilty that I had to get these glasses. Okay, I'm just talking to myself now. Sorry, I probably lost all of you. Anyhow, I think I was not in the outro. So be kind to people you don't know what they're going through. Be kind to yourself. Do something nice for yourself. I'm going to stop asking what you do nice to yourself because I don't know if anyone's going to answer. I don't want to end on a Debbie Downer. Sorry, I want to end on a happy note, which is, let's see what's happy. Well, I guess for other people, it's going to be 70 degrees for two days. Not happy for me, but back before this happened to me, I would love, you know, a fall day like 70 degrees. You know, I see the, the colors are changing on the leaves. It seems to me that they changed earlier, but this year we barely see. I did see the burning bush. I don't know if you know what that is. It's beautiful, like, I don't know. It's a type of red kind of, um, oh, I don't know what color to describe it. Just a beautiful, like, like a, a fall, an autumn red. Not, you know, bright red, not red red. It's, it's a burning bush, I think it's called. It's a beautiful red. But we don't see yet a lot, you know, um, where I think we have more. But do you have change of leaves? Let me know. Or don't. 
I don't know. I don't know how to end this on a positive note. I'm just down in a hole right now, so can't dig myself out of it. So I hope you had a wonderful day. Hope you're doing stuff nice for yourself, and most importantly, stay safe. Thanks for stopping by, and see you again. Bye for now.